Alrighty, uh, this video is going to be on covering how to export models from uh, Elden Ring. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this will apply to things like character models, weapons, armor, that kind of stuff. Um, it will require you to have your game unpacked using UXM. Um, it will also help you to make a separate file where you make copies of the game files and then extract from those rather than actually extracting from the game director itself so you don't end up breaking something. Um, you'll need Yabber to unpack stuff. Um, you can use Fiber Editor to export stuff in day format as well. If you're using Blender like I do, you'll need to use BB tools to convert the Fiber files to source and you'll also need the source add-on for Blender. Um, all of those things will be linked in the description though. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started here. On the right here, we have our game directory unpacked via UXM. Uh, we're just going to grab a character model. Um, I have in my Discord, um, I have a list here of um, all of the character IDs. So if you want to use that you can snag it bb tools is also going to be the easiest way to get it will be in my discord as well because otherwise you have to sign up for a forum and all this crap to be able to download it or you can just come get it from discord so do it however you want um i'm not going to worry about what i grab honestly over here i'm just going to open up characters and then we will do a little bit of scrolling and we'll get 3200 seems good um, so I'll explain really quick how this kind of works. Uh, character B and D DCX is where the models for um, characters will be stored and they will have their textures separately um, under their same ID, but with H text B and D and I or L text B and D for high resolution textures and lower resolution textures. Um, we don't care about those textures right now, but if you want them yourself, you can just copy them into another folder and then extract them via Yabber. So um, for the sake of the character though, I'm just gonna copy that file and I'm gonna paste it over here in my extra folder and then unpack it using Yabber. Uh, we're gonna click all the way in until we get to the fiber. Uh, one way that you can extract models is by opening the fiber in the fiber editor. Uh, itself. Um, once it pops up here, you would just click export day and it will export the model in the day file format. But we're going to show you with Blender as well here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize our character folder there because we don't really need it anymore. And then I'm actually going to go get my BB tools really quick. And we're going to take our fiver, we're going to drop it right on top of Bloodborne tools there. It's going to spit out two things, an ASCII and a SMD. Uh, the SMD is source, obviously, ASCII. I don't really know, I haven't done a lot with it, but you can open that up um, with a plugin for Noesis and then export it from Noesis. Um, as like an FBX or something if you want to. I'm not gonna cover that in this video because that's not the method that I use. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just gonna delete that. Um, we'll take our SMD though, and we'll put it on the desktop here. And then we're gonna open up Blender. Clear all this crap out. File, import, and then source material or source engine. Uh, if you don't have this, it's because you don't have the add-on. So make sure you download and install that. I'm going to navigate to our little SMD here. Depending on your computer, this can take a while to load stuff in. Um, just depends on your rig, honestly. So here we are. We've got the model right here now. Um, you can do whatever you want with it at this point. Um, you've got the bones to pose it. You can do model swaps, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm working on a video for model swaps, so you might just want to wait on that if that's something you're interested in. So um, here is the model though. It is all exported and pretty and amazing and all that great stuff. Um, so I'm just going to close that because the purpose was just to show you how to do that. So um, yeah, yep. With that being said, uh, that should just about cover how to export models from 
Elden Ring using Blender and the Fiverr editor. So again, all that stuff will be linked in the description. Uh, if you need further help or it was of help to you, go ahead and leave a like and uh, consider subscribing or joining our Discord. We have extra help there, uh, more direct. So um, thanks for hanging out. Take care, guys.